uh, Arushi for letting me know. And we have Rahul. Rahul, are you also uh, the same one who's who's part of Ramesh, uh, the Delhi Center or the Indrapuram Center? I'm just trying to check uh, before I begin further. So Rahul, can you hear me? Have you joined us from the Delhi Center or the Indrapuram Center? All right, no problem in case maybe he's he's not at the desk right now. All right, thank you so much, guys, for joining in and for being on time. I really appreciate that. All those who uh, uh, come on time, Ramesh Nagar Center, all right, great. Rahul Roy, is that? Or there are there three or four Rahuls over there. All right. Great, guys. Thank you so much for joining in. I uh, welcome each one of you again. Now let's get started with uh, a small recap of what we did on the last Sunday. So last Sunday was almost a sort of a first set, first class of this batch. So when I say first class, this is a fairly new batch, guys. And the first class we had was almost uh, last week only, where we started quite a lot about Google AdWords. We started with Google AdWords, right? I'll just do a recap. Anybody who remembers what we did in the last... Uh, on last Sunday, guys, all those who were part of the session last Sunday can let me know. So I believe Vinay was part of the last session. Raji was also part of the last Sunday session. And Moses and Nand Kumar and uh, anybody else who was part of the last Sunday. Okay, analytics maybe was actually in the other batch. No problem. So uh, any great thanks, Vinay. But analytics was actually part of the other batch. No problem. It uh, it's, it's totally uh, okay. It's totally fine. We started with understanding the basic concepts of internet marketing, guys, right? And whereby we started understanding the overall Google AdWords structure. We also understood in our very first session, we understood what is the difference between Google AdWords and Google AdSense. Who all over here remembers and recalls the difference between Google AdWords and AdSense? All those who have joined in just now as your first center, all right. So Moses said, yes, he remembers and recalls that, which is good. Let me just, guys, help you out with this uh, URL for referring to the recordings of the previous session. So that in case you have missed on something, maybe I believe Arushi might have missed a, a class, the last class. And uh, I don't think anybody else who has missed the last class. No problem. So I'll still share with you the MP videos. Okay, you were a bit late, no problem. Okay, okay, when I got it. So guys, this is the URL which you can refer to in order to get access to all the videos, all the recordings of the previous sessions. All right, once you click onto this video, uh, you can go ahead to the playlist section. And once you go ahead on, and click onto the playlist section, this particular batch which is running right now is the one which started on September 13. So we already had just two sessions. You can see there are two videos right now. When you click on uh, these two videos, I mean, I repeat again, what you need to do, you need to click on playlist. And after clicking onto the playlist, you can check for the playlist which says Sunday batch September 13th. So your batch is the one which started on September 13. You can click onto that. And there are two videos as of now, which is, which have been covered, just a sec, which have been covered in the last two batches, guys, last two sessions. So this was first class and this was second class. The first one was actually about difference between AdWords and AdSense and the difference between paid search and the organic search, guys. Right? So difference between paid search and the organic search is what we have covered in the very first class and the ad difference between AdWords and AdSense. We also spoke about plenty of other topics which we're going to be covering in our entire batch, guys, right? So in our entire uh, sessions in our, uh, so it's almost like uh, two, three months which we will be going forward with, with our batch. I'll keep having more online sessions. I'll keep sending you uh, invitations for all that. Right, so this was the very first video, which was the all in all about difference between AdWords and AdSense. Anybody who's not aware about AdWords and AdSense, it's a very long topic. I cannot go ahead and repeat that in a recap session, you know, in a recap way. The difference between AdWords and AdSense, what I can tell you right now, that AdWords is a platform, is a product which is offered by Google to the advertisers. 
only advertisers actually use adwords and it's the publishers who use adsense to make money adsense is used by publishers to make money and adwords is used by advertisers to spend money and reach their clients reach their clients by doing advertisements right uh, anybody who remembers let me know guys if you know who all over here knows the difference between adwords and adsense let me know with a yes or no so if you know just let, let me know with a yes if you don't know let me know with an answer with with the answer saying no yes says moses so moses recalls and remember harshika says yes all right so i've got two people who are aware of that i've got three people nand kumar also knows about that uh, you can be honest about that if you have missed on that session i can help you whenever you have a doubt on that so uh, uh, okay vinay doesn't recall that vinay you can actually watch the session you know about adverts but not adsense says rohit so rohit vinay i would encourage you to actually watch the recordings and if in case after watching the recording you will still get you will still have a doubt feel free to ask me on whatsapp guys i can share across with you uh, my email address and my whatsapp number right and so i believe most of you are already connected with me on whatsapp in case not feel free to go ahead and ping me across over there all right rohit so that's what you can go do hey hi tushar good evening so you have been missing a lot uh, uh, quite a lot of sessions buddy i believe so last uh, sunday also and this saturday also i believe you you didn't attend the session right all right so no problem so adwords and adsense uh, were you are you also clear on that uh, arushi uh, moses is clear and uh, vinay is not yeah saturday yesterday also we had a session uh, Rajiv, that was another batch. That was another batch, not this one. So when you asked me, I did tell you that it's a different session, different batch altogether on Saturday. All right, but still, you guys are always invited to different batches also, in case you want to attend my other sessions also. So the first class was about AdWords and AdSense. I think I don't need to go ahead and tell you about that. In case you're not aware of it, I'll still say go ahead and watch the session and let me know in case you have a doubt. I've shared my number, my credentials again. also in the very first session just to help you in recalling we started about the major basic difference between organic search results and paid search results guys does anybody recalls anybody who is not aware about the organic and the paid search result this is something which i can go ahead and tell you in very short and crisp fashion so if i type in something in a keyword let's say in search engine box which is this query of mine which is also called a keyword the search results which you can see over here you know the search is all the search result one the search result two which is on the second position these both are paid search results guys which comes over here with the help of google adwords this is what we have started in the last session also and we are going to create certain advertisements today all right and then we have the snap deal amazon and the best appeal price all of them are organic or the unpaid listings right which comes in with the help of search engine optimization any doubts or any queries in these particular uh, differentiation guys in the paid and the unpaid listings do let me know uh, i know i will keep encouraging each one of you to keep typing as much as you can in the chat window it sometimes becomes uh, difficult to type so much i know i am at the easy end by keep talking but uh, that's what the overall way it works right guys so uh, i would go ahead and let you know what we did in the last session guys so that was the first session and then we had a second session which was on the last sunday where we started with understanding what is google adwords and what is the what how does a overall google adwords account structure look like anybody who remembers and recall the overall account structure guys can anybody help me recall that so all those who were part of the all those who were part of the session last time can you help me in recalling by typing in what all do you remember from the adwords account structure so i generally take 10 15 minutes in recapping what we did in the last session so that's a open question for everybody who is present over here great nobody is ready to type in something campaign ad group absolutely right rohit 
and there is something which is uh, bigger than the campaign right so when it says we have created the google adwords account absolutely rajiv says campaign can you repeat please all right my question is what all do you remember and recall absolutely rajiv you are absolutely right what all do you remember and recall from the google adwords account structure how does the adwords account structure look like guys i've got uh, rajiv saying that all right the ad groups absolutely so you have accounts let me help you recall that you have one adwords account and then followed by that you have several campaigns and then se underneath every campaign you have several ad groups and underneath uh, several ad groups you have ad copies guys and uh, for every ad copy there are certain keywords bunch of keywords which are linked to it in short that's what i have written down in the chat window that's the overall hierarchy which looks like i'll just open the uh ref uh, the P powerpoint or the pdf document whatever you want to call it which i used which i had used in the last session you can always refer guys to the recorded session in order to refresh all what we have covered so far so in order to get the uh, maximum value of what we have covered so far it's very much important that you do watch the video the last session video before joining in the session the next session all right uh, so it was google adwords why can't i see over here it says all right so it's 843 i'll just flip across the slides and then tell you what we covered in the last session or right, we started with understanding the difference between the uh, paid campaigns the seo seo listings and the ppc listings the paid and the unpaid listings i hope everybody remembers and recalls we also have uh, covered about the adwords and adsense and i did mention that within google adwords we will study all this how to create text ads today we will be creating text ad guys and also in next session we will cover the image ads part and then session after that we will study how do we create the video ads all right that there are different kind of uh, display ads different kind of uh, video ads too what are the right ways to actually create them and get value out of them all right so let me just jump onto the slide which shows us the overall adwords account structure right if you remember guys this was the overall adwords account structure which ha which i had covered in the last session you have one of the account uh, google adwords account is just only one you cannot have multiple accounts for a single uh, website for a single website you need to have a one single Adver adwords account you can uh, associate or link your website with one single adwords account and one single adwords account opens up with the help of a unique email id and a password which is again a google account email address or a password which is a gmail account username or a password you can say and then you have a unique billing information underneath an account you can create several campaigns i gave you an example of the way your website is structured let's say your website has got plenty of category your major categories becomes the campaigns and your sub categories underneath every category there, there are sub categories the sub categories become part of the ad groups right and for every ad group you have uh, different ad copies guys and ad copies and keywords ad copies and keywords are placed underneath ad groups this is what we covered in the last does any uh, so do you guys remember uh, does it really help you recall when i open this slide right so yes it says uh, harshika yes says moses and yes says tushar and yes says rohit all right great guys yes says rajiv all right great guys so i'll begin today okay uh, i also made you understand uh, this entire adwords account structure with the help of the this example where i had taken that one of the business ha which has an adwords account creates one campaign which is auto repair automobile repair and underneath automobile repair the campaign uh, which is a campaign we have somebody's on unmute and we have prajakta on unmute mode all right so prajakta i have actually made you on the mute mode so ad group one ad group oh my goodness project i am putting you on mute uh, again so don't put yourself on unmute again please oil change brake repair ac repair 
these are ad group one ad group two ad group three there are projector i request you to please put yourself on mute i am putting you on mute for the third time please thank you so much i am doing it myself i'm fourth time my goodness okay if you'll do it the fifth time i might have to chuck you out of the room okay oil change brake repair ac repair guys uh, these have been different ad groups and for every ad groups we have studied that how the overall advertisement the ad copy which is being created is linked to it there is a there is a single theme which is associated to this particular ad group which is the theme is oil change you can see oil change being over here in the headline oil change being there in the description line one description line two similarly you have a theme in ad group two as brake repair in ad group three there is a different theme which is ac repair the keywords which are linked over here to this particular ad group are related to brake repair even the advertisement the ad copy being created is related to brake repair this is for actually for making sure that there is a relevancy being created i also mentioned that the landing page for oil change should only talk about oil change part the landing page for brake repair should only talk about the brake repair part landing landing page for ac repair should only talk about the ac repair okay before i move further i did talk about certain examples projecta this is the fifth time i am just requesting you again maybe projecta is not able to hear me i did made you understand i was uh, the overall relevancy factor by asking you certain questions that which uh, ad really works well so forth and so on i'm not going to uh, spend more time on this all right before i move further let me ask you a few questions guys if you remember this is what is this particular line call called so the line uh, the text which is there on the top in the blue is this a description line one description line two or a headline all those who did join the session last time it's called harshika says a title rajiv says description 1 tushar says headline all right so i've got three different responses i've got moses and tushar saying headline all right so i repeat my question that line which is over here on the top the text over here on the top is the headline or a description line 1 or a description line 2 or what so I've got four responses right now. I'm looking for more responses. Vinay, if you remember and recall, Arushi, any idea about that? Uh, Nand Kumar, any idea? So Rohit says headline or a title. Okay, that's a great answer, Rohit. All right. So Arushi says no, uh, no, no idea. No problem, Arushi. You can refer to the recordings of previous sessions today, and definitely uh, you'll get a great idea, Arushi. So don't don't feel that you are missing out on something. All right. If this is very easy if you'll get to know uh, if you'll watch the recordings all right so 25 characters absolutely this is called headlines guys right this is a headline which is for 25 characters which is absolutely right harshika did mention 25 characters and rajiv said headline and tushar mentioned headline uh, i mean all those who did mention moses mentioned headline all of those who have mentioned headline are perfectly right so rajiv says can't hear i believe everyone else can hear me Rajiv, you might have to re-log in, re-log in in order to get to hear me. Okay, Ra Rohit can hear me loud and clear. All right, great. Now, what is okay? Great, Rajiv. What is a description line one or a description line two over here? And okay, let me ask you, what are the character limits for description line one and description line two? Thirty-five characters says uh, Rohit. 35 and 35 says Rajiv. Absolutely, Moses says 35. Absolutely right, guys. And these are the set of questions which you know are being asked if you go for either for an interview or for a client pitch. Uh, I mean, certain clients who are in the very nascent stage and are trying to analyze your digital marketing skills, these kind of questions can be asked. Uh, very true. You all of you remember 35 character is the limit. and what is the difference between display url and destination url guys that is my last question and then we'll move ahead with our session for today what is the difference between display url and destination url rohit says display url will be the root directory okay anybody else who wants to jump in and let me know I believe somebody else is again on the unmute mode All right, Rohit says destination will be where you want people to land. All right. 
the specific page. All right. Harshika says example.com is a display URL. All right. So Moses said landing page. Landing page is the display URL or the destination URL, Moses. So autorepair.com is a display. All right. So destination. All right. Most of you have uh, got that right. Destination will lead us to the landing page. Absolutely right, Tushar. Absolutely. So Vinay, you were also part of the session last time, I believe. I'm not uh, getting to hear from you. But did you join in way too late last time? All right, so I would request in case you did join in late last time, Vinay, do refer to the recordings, please, because uh, I'll, else you will miss out on a lot of stuff. All right, so you haven't missed much yet. Don't worry on that, but do, do watch the recording. The moment the session gets over, the very next day, I upload the video, guys. I try my level best to upload it the very next day. And I've shared, guys, with you their URL to go ahead and get to check the overall recordings. I believe I have more people joining in just now. And uh, when I did mention the URL. So this is the URL, guys, which you can refer to in order to get access to the recordings. And our batch is over here. The play Underneath the playlist section, we have this sunday batch starting from september 13 you can refer to the recordings these are the priority one after watching these videos you are free you feel free to watch other videos also in case you want to all right let's begin with today's session and try to understand how can we create a google ads what sort of uh, okay you guys were absolutely right display url is 35 characters and destination url is the url of the landing page where we want the end customer to actually land. The maximum character limits for destination URL, if anybody remembers and recalls, do you remember the character limit for the destination URL, guys? All right, so Moses says 1025. Rajiv says 1024. Which one is right? So either of them is absolutely right, guys. Anybody who remembers that, it's 1024 characters only. So that's with the destination URL, guys. So the destination URL is 1024, guys. All right. So let's get... I'm not really sure how to erase. Okay, here you go. All right, so 1024 characters, right? So Vinay also recalls that, that's good. All right, so text add components, uh, overall these things, these examples we have spoken in the last session. Now, in now since I have to start with an example, I would take, uh, can we use bit.ly URL in destination? Very good question, we cannot. We cannot, Google doesn't permit us to take bit.ly URL in the destination URL because Google says uh, the, the redirection is not allowed. All right, so let me open a Google AdWords account, guys, uh, and then start with uh, adwords.google.com. And I go ahead and open my MCC account. So I have an MCC account, guys. I did tell you about MCC in the last session. Anybody who remembers what does MCC stand for and what exactly it is? There are two kinds of AdWords account. One is an individual, which is for an individual and for Harshika says for clients. All right. Venice says with a reseller and you, we have an individual AdWords account and we have an MCC account. Anybody who remembers the definition, my client central. Absolutely right, Rajiv. Uh, you remember that great my client central is the definition is the uh, full form of MCC so it's not the Melbourne cricket uh, MCG it's not the MCG Melbourne cricket ground all right so it sounds very similar this is basically for those uh, people who uh, manage several clients majorly for the ad uh, advertising agency so I have an MCC account right now I've logged into my MCC these are all are my clients right now which you can see over here so I have uh some you know plenty of accounts right now i would create a new account and new i will click on new adwords account and let's say i create it as for a website called your creations let's say 
and I mention the time, the country being Canada. So that's my agency, which is based out of, and I can go ahead and select the time zone, whatever time zone I want to go ahead and put it. So it's Eastern time zone. Here you go. I can put in the currency. Let's say I want to go ahead and do it in Indian rupees only, and I can click on getting personalized ideas and AdWords newsletters. I go ahead and create account. So with the help of my MCC account, guys, I have created uh, a individual. These are these all are individual AdWords account which I have linked. You guys can also create your AdWords account, guys, and give me your customer ID. I can I can do one thing. I can link my uh, MCC account to your AdWords account and check the overall advertisements which you'll make. So there is an assignment, guys. Whatever. Uh, so the assignment is whatever we'll study today, same has to be replicated. So Moses say once we once the account is created, we can we change? Uh, can we absolutely you can change the currency? You can absolutely change the currency. All right. So one the uh, assignment guys is whatever we'll study today, which is creation of a search uh, uh, search ad. You can you would have to create it either for a website which you want to do it yourself or each one of you will be getting a free website from my side. So I've already got the domain registered for Harshika, for Moses, and uh, I believe for Rahul also, and Raji for you too. Uh, I would giving you uh, the websites this week, and Tushar, I have to yet do it for you, and Vinay, I'll do, be doing it. And for the rest of you, I'll be getting it done. So just let me, just ping me across on WhatsApp, and I'll, I'll get you the website, guys. So you can create your, uh, advertisements for the uh, create your advertisements uh, for your website all right I'm opening this AdWords account guys and let's start right from the beginning let's try to create ads now this case study guys which is my internet marketing agency by the name of your creation so I have this website shall I have to pay through credit card uh, no no you don't have to pay anything so in case you want to run ads, then only you need to pay. So in case you want to just practice, then you don't need to pay at all. All right. So in case you have uh, you want to spend in money and try to get some feel out of it, then absolutely you would need a credit or a debit card to pay. All right. And uh, in case you pay, in case you are in case you guys are looking forward to do uh, some investment onto the ads part and run them, then I can give you. Uh, some coupons guys which are called adwords coupons and these adwords coupons are like uh, applicable for new accounts so you can create new account and give me the uh, give me the username and password for those accounts just the username rather not the password i can give you coupons which are for 2000 rupees now what happens with the 2000 rupees coupon that you have to spend 2000 from your uh, pocket from your uh, credit card or debit card and you will get 2000 rupees extra with the help of that coupon so in case you are looking forward to spend in money you can you can contact me for that i can give you maximum 15 coupons guys for 15 adwords accounts so almost a benefit of 2000 rupees into 15 accounts is what i can help you with which is almost close to 30000 rupees i can make you uh, benefit for th benefit you with 30,000 rupees all in all all right so this is the overall website guys which is an internet marketing agency what do you think uh, I should be uh, working on in terms of the AdWords account it's uh, AdWords feature uh, it's a it's a the coupon thing an AdWord feature uh, it's it's not given to everybody so I am a Google partner that's why I get a lot of AdWords coupons Sometimes you get it uh, randomly, but not every time. All right. So uh, over here, this is an ad agency, guys, uh, an internet marketing agency, which is selling across services like content marketing, web design, web development, mobile marketing, search engine optimization, email marketing, pay-per-click management. So we would be running across advertisement, Google search ad for this agency. All right. And that too for the Canada region. Let's start doing that. All right, so we would first of all click on create your first campaign. This is my ad account uh, client ID guys. 
all right and i click on click your uh, create your first ad campaign i can create multiple campaigns what should be my multiple campaigns guys what do you think as per my website which you can see over here can you name couple of uh, two or three campaigns name which i should go ahead and create guys by what name should i create campaigns you can see multiple things over here in the about section then you have services over here what sort of campaign so harshika says online marketing all right anybody else who also wants to uh, what all name should i keep for my campaigns so let me know with three campaign names guys So when it says web development, Tushar says PPC management, SEO services, Rajiv, absolutely. So all my different campaigns are going to be based upon my offerings, guys. So I can have one campaign as trainings, I can have another campaign as SEO services, another campaign as PPC management services, another campaign as email marketing services, right? So let's try to create a campaigns for for one of the campaign being training, internet marketing training. All right, so let's say if I go ahead and do that, I can first of all click on all features. There is a reason for clicking on all features because I want to show you all the features. Harshika says in this website, we can read more. Can we read more? Yeah, we can. Uh, you can uh, read more. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I'm not able to get your exact question. So you can read plenty of things uh, over here, right? All right, I select for search network only right now we would definitely be doing search network video ads on youtube display network and okay this is something which has come across new which is universal app campaign i'll take that also all of these we'll do step by step let's start with search network and with search network would go ahead with creating okay i have a question rohit says should the campaign classification be based on the streams you offer on your creations are based on different intents like lead generation very good question rohit this is a very subjective thing uh, you can absolutely create and classify campaigns on the goal of the campaign also and also on the basis of the services it's totally your call it's actually the ca the categorization which is the campaign ad groups and ad copies is meant for you to understand your overall adwords uh, account right so that whenever you enter into the adwords account you should not feel that things are very much messed up if you want to segregate things on the basis of the goal of the campaigns which is the objective of the campaign whether it's a branding whether it's a discount offer whether it's a lead generation you can mention so i can mention let's say lead generation for seo seo campaign this is one of the campaign name and another campaign name i can make it as discount offers you know or maybe uh, discounts for Christmas, you know, something like that. Whatever I want to do it, it's all up to me. So both the scenarios are right, Rohit. So Rohit says, right, whatever makes it easier for us to manage the overall advertisements and ultimately track all the activity. Absolutely right. You got that. You got that. So let's say if I do it for um, free SEO analysis, let's create for that. Training would be a different one. I'll take create that so free seo free website seo audit or maybe free seo audit all right free seo audit campaign that's my campaign name which i go ahead and keep i can create another one also this is on the basis of whatever theme i want to keep it and i can have various seo audits uh adwords campaign ad groups underneath that i select for search network i go further down now what is this network part guys if i click on include search partners you know there are two options in the network part either i click on either i checkbox click on the checkbox of include search box search partners or in i don't do it if i click on this my advertisement will actually appear on other third party websites which google actually owns just like Gmail or Google Maps, or there are plenty of other uh, Google products, Google Search Partner. There are various uh, websites which falls under search Google Search. Google Maps is one of them. Google uh, Gmail is one of them. Then Google Translate, 
then you have google drive within these products sometimes you get to see the text ads your text ads can actually appear over here but when's the reporting even aol absolutely even aol is a search partner you're absolutely right and there are various small uh, there are various small uh, what do you say search engines which are part of the search partners rohit you're absolutely right so rohit you seem to have a lot of information about internet marketing which is good right so your uh, text ads can appear into these search partners so i've given you some of the examples i generally go ahead and don't include them because i have seen uh, this is not a very great thing to do because in the reporting section in the reporting section we don't get a report in terms of where is my ad running on what all search partners so rohit says just theoretical but want to get more hands on all right great rohit so would like to know what is your overall background like so maybe you can text me across on whatsapp all right now the next thing guys is the devices uh in the devices section uh for display campaigns if we are running if you remember this was the display part if we are running for display campaigns this would be enabled for us i would have been i would be able to select for what all devices i want to run my ad should i want do i want uh, my ad only to be appearing for uh, the mobile uh, devices or should i uh, make my ad appear only on those devices like uh, maybe tablets or maybe desktops or maybe uh, so forth and so on i mean multiple devices i can select with the search ads i have i don't have the ability to select at present all the devices are selected uh, as as a default functionality all right now the next thing guys is the location setup i can select for locations let's say i want to start with delhi location first all right and within delhi i can choose a specific location too let me first help you with understanding uh, from the country perspective let's say i want to select india as of now i i can go ahead and make my ad appear to all those people who are present within the entire in this particular country which is india i can go ahead and mention from the country perspective similarly i can select multiple countries let's say i go ahead and say that my ad has to appear in india and canada only these two countries i can do that but this is not very much targeted guys this is way too broad i never go ahead and ex, uh, tell you about the broad functionality i'll i'll pinpoint on the various uh, single geographic areas another thing is that it's not just that you can include certain locations you can exclude also let's say i have a product which is uh, sold across in entire india but not sold across in a particular state let's say it's a wine okay wines are not sold across in india uh, online uh, so uh, aggressively people are trying to actually sell it uh, let's say if it's a alcoholic thing it might not we might not be able to sell it in the gujarat state all right uh, okay sorry exclude so what i did right now my ad will appear in entire india except for gujarat so tushar says do we need to be granular 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 in approach while setting a location absolutely we need to be we need to be so so that in order in order to get maximum roi we need to take that right sorry for the pronunciation problem all right so we can select the uh, overall country guys and then exclude a specific location now i have excluded a particular state i can also exclude a particular city <coughs> excuse me so i know if the uh, alcoholic beverage cannot be sold across in the gujarat state i can exclude you can see it's it's under the excluded locations right and under the targeted locations india is there and uh, underneath Uh, excluded it's gujarat i can exclude a particular city also let's say it's a pan masala sure when i am coming out to that let's say it's a pan masala we know that within goa we can not go ahead and sell, sell across uh, pan masalas i can mention goa and i can exclude that again <coughs> what is happening my entire ad will be visible throughout india but not for gujarat region and but but not for goa region right for both these locations this is a specific union territory and this is a per specific city oh, sorry state all right now this is one thing guys i've told you about the overall excluded locations let's say i remove them i after telling you <coughs> i remove everything now let's go very specific 
Rohit says, has the line gone mute or is it just me? The line has gone mute. Okay, when it says can listen, kya can't hear you, me. All right, can't listen.
Hi guys, can you hear me? Uh, so there is some audio issue of hearing me. Muted. All right. So, okay. I believe now you guys should be able to hear me. Great. Thank you, guys. Not really sure. Yeah. Echo. I'm just trying to mute the other laptop. Yeah. So Echo should Echo should not be there now, as I have muted the other laptop. So this is some big issue with the meeting, and this is guys. I have uh, I've evaluated plenty of uh, webinar tools, and GoToMeeting has been the best out of the entire lot, and still it gives me problems. All right, so great. So Rashid says, can you make me the presenter? Okay, great. So Rashid, what will you present to us? Let me know. So I have a new member who says that please make me the presenter. Okay, great. I would definitely agree to you, maybe uh, at a later stage. <clears throat> okay, so I would just open my same AdWords account. I need to go ahead and save that first. Or maybe I might have to go right from the beginning. All right, so it's 17th birthday of uh, Google, if anybody knows about that, adwords.google.com. Okay, so Mr. Rashid has left. He wanted to be the presenter. Not really sure why was he asking me for the presenter rights. All right, guys, so I'm going back to the same account, and I'm so sorry for the trouble. Not really sure why I go for the meeting keeps doing that. I go to the new creations bar. bar. Uh, our AdWords account. can't hear me again, says Rajiv. Is that for everybody? Can you guys hear me? This is becoming a big trouble if you guys are not able to hear me again. Can hear you, can hear you. All right, so most of you can hear me. All okay, all right. Okay, thanks, thanks for that. So maybe all those who are not able to hear can re-log in. Okay, I create the first campaign. I was doing that. The, that campaign which I had created was not being saved, guys. So we had moved a, a, a one step ahead. I would open the website, which is yourcreations.ca. All right, all features is what we selected for initially. Okay, Himank, it's your first session, and it's your first session, and you came in a bit late. Uh, I had given an overview altogether. I did send you the email, the message on time. I was expecting you to come on time. All right. By the end of the session, I'll definitely help you. So, Nick, we will create the ad for our website, where, which will give us right for assessment. Absolutely, absolutely, you're right. So, the website which I'll be giving you, you need to actually do that. All right, so I'm making the campaign name as Free SEO Audit. 
that was the name of the campaign which I was uh, doing that. All right, I select for all features as of now. I go ahead with not including the Google search partners. I did tell you what are Google search partners. I don't have an option with uh, what do you say the devices part by default it's the, all the devices then next comes in the locations part guys I did tell you how to include and exclude from the country from the uh, state and from the city perspective all right so it says manager ID is the MCC account ID and then we can link any other AdWords account ID to that ID or create a new AdWords account under that absolutely you can do both the answer to your question is you can do both you can create a new AdWords account and link it to your MCC or you can create a new ID create a new account with the help of your existing MCC what I did just now I created an AdWords account straight away with the help of my MCC I can do it the other way around also I can have a Gmail account separately for a specific AdWords account and link it to my MCC also I hope I did answer to your question all right great now with the locations part guys let's say uh, great let's say I want to run it across for a specific pin code of uh, Delhi I can type in double one double zero one five you can see the specific pin code also comes in so all those who are not from Delhi I hope everybody still understand what is the overall significance of a pin code a pin code covers a specific location so it's not covering the entire Delhi it's covering only a specific colony you can say a specific circle uh, a specific a specific area if I could an add and add on the 15th uh, 110015 pin code area then specific uh, region will be selected and my ad will appear only to those people which are actually part of this specific pin code I can go ahead and select areas which are nearby this also when I click on the nearby option absolutely right Vinay it's the area wise when I click on nearby this thing opens up right this specific pentagon you can say this is a sort of a pentagon right I can get to know about more areas nearby when I click onto this pentagon stuff which you see over here show, show available locations for inclusion exclusion within the map area when I click on this pentagon geographical stuff you can see it tells me about other areas with its pin code all right it does tell me that Patel Nagar area has a pin code of double one triple zero eight I can add this I can make my ad show in this particular region similarly for the Karol Bag area which is double one triple zero five so forth and so on I can go ahead and select areas guys accordingly and I can even exclude or include a specific location so let's say if I go ahead and I want to exclude this I can exclude this also I can include this also so this overall military cant area or so forth and so on so this is just for uh, let giving you an idea this when I do this I have another option which is of radius targeting which I want to tell you now what radius targeting does guys it's a different concept altogether as compared to the pin code uh, targeting let's say if I type in a specific name it's Delhi let's say it's from the city level only it will take when I type in Delhi I can actually select a specific area from the central point of this location so there would be a central point of this uh, specific city from that center point I can take the area which is like a uh, 20 miles radius or within which falls within the radius of 20 miles or 20 kilometers also I can choose it from the area wise also not really sure why is this not getting clicked all right just a sec let's say if I take in strange why is this not actually taking when I click on search it says let's say Mumbai I can add that and from Mumbai the specific major central point from Mumbai I can take strange it's not letting me so there are two options miles and kilometers guys I can go ahead and do 10 me tell him 10 miles radius you can see this is a 10 mile radius from the middle point of Mumbai right that is the middle point of Mumbai I can also make it in place of 10 I can do it 5 also so when I do 5 
it will include all those areas. So this has got shortened up, right? This entire area. So I can do that. So let's say if I do for 20 miles and I go ahead and search it and I can add that across. So this is 20 miles. I add this up, this entire. So along with Mumbai, so Mumbai is definitely going to be added and the area right uh, falling under, under the 20 mil, uh, miles radius. Somebody even traveling within the sea and typing in a specific keyword which I am targeting, my ad will pop up for them. This is that strong. The IP address will actually be uh, captured that way. I can go ahead and click on done part. That is location targeting guys. All right, so these are the areas which I have selected so far for Delhi and the radius targeting have been 20 miles uh, radius from the specific uh, central point of Mumbai and I have targeted the entire Mumbai too. I go further down, it asks me for the languages options guys. If I am residing in a specific city, a specific country which has, which is multi uh, which has multiple languages, I, I, have, uh, I have that uh, advantage of uh, using multiple languages over here. It's multilingual, absolutely. So any sit, any country which is multilingual, uh, which has multiple languages, uh, you know, let's say if it, uh, I have the Hindi option also over here. I believe Hindi is there, absolutely. I can create ads within the Hindi option also, guys. There are many people who open up Google, the Hindi version of Google. There are many people who open other different language options of uh, Google search engine. So my ad can appear over there. I can go ahead and create that. Ads as a default feature, I'm taking the English uh, version only right now without wasting much of a time. I go further down. There is another option guys, which comes under the settings part, which is called bid strategy. I will take that in detail what exactly it is. So bid is something where we try and let Google know that we are ready to pay this much amount. We are ready to bid this much amount as a per click cost, whosoever will click on my ad. The overall advertisement uh, ranking of my ad is somehow dependent on the bid also. Higher the bid, better my ranking will also be there. So there are two factors which are dependent upon the bid part. One uh, on the ad rank part, one is the bid part. So I'll take that in detail. Bid strategy, to begin with, I can start with uh, AdWords will set my bid in order to maximize. So Rohit says, I'm sorry Nick, I will have to drop off, but we'll surely go through the recording tomorrow. All right, no problem Rohit, absolutely no problem. So thank you for so much for, for letting me know before dropping out. All right, so at present I'm taking, I'm giving the option, I'm giving the, uh, I'm giving the uh, overall rights to AdWords to go ahead and bid on my behalf. I don't want to take a lot of, uh, work on my shoulders that's why I'm letting AdWords do this but there are four to five bit strategies which I'll be teaching you within the Google AdWords stuff guys and we would be setting it manually myself if, if I click on manual bidding it will ask me for the uh, default bid what default bid do you want to keep but let's say if I give it to AdWords it's not asking me it'll ask me for the budget let's say if I decide that I want to keep uh, why we said bid okay that's a great question Harshika so let's say if I go on to Google search in right now and I type in a keyword by iPhone 6, okay, again, or maybe uh, pre-SE audit, pre-SEO audit is one of the keywords which I would also want my advertisement to be up. You can see ads being over here. So Tushar says, is there algorithm which runs behind fetching bids? Yes, there is. There is a mechanism, an algorithm you can say. Which, uh, which fetches the overall data on what is the bid which every particular advertiser is keeping. So the bid part, uh, Harshika, is being kept in order to make sure that our advertisements appear on the top. Higher bid, better it is most of the times, but there are ways through which you can bid less and get your ad on the top. You can see Google ad is on the top and web position ad is on number two, so forth and so on. Right, then I have my competitor DSAM, which is on number three position. These people might have bid in something. Let's say Zapmeta in their AdWords account might have said that I'm ready to pay 50 rupees per click. This guy might have said I'm ready to pay 70 rupees. This guy might have said I'm ready to pay 1000 rupees per click. And this guy might have said I'm ready to pay 100 rupees. And Google might have been paying just 10 rupees. There are 
uh, many situations where you bid less and still you can be on the top. As we move further, I'll let you know. <clears throat> the ad rank, this is called the ad rank, guys, and ad rank is a close formula of the quality score, which is called QS, quality score, and also the bidding which you're doing. So bidding has a bigger role to play in the ad rank. Absolutely, Tushar, you said that, right? So quality score is actually given by Google AdWords when we will start running our ad. When we will start running our ad, then a quality score will be go uh, given by Google algorithm uh, in terms of how my advertisement is performing, how my overall ad copy is set up, how my overall uh, CTR, which is called click-through rate, I'll come on to that. CTR I am achieving and also the content on my landing page. If the content on my landing page is in sync with the keyword I have taken, is in sync with the ad copy I have selected. If you remember in the last session, we have spoken about the theme part that there is, there were two ads. One was, so when somebody types in 8 megapixel, uh, eight megapixel uh, keyword, then there were two ads which were popping up. One was saying that they, it's like, uh, it's like uh, we sell j all the all the what do you say cameras, and there was another ad which said eight megapixel cameras available here, discounts, so forth and so on. So if your advertisements are really catchy enough and talking to the point, talking to what the end customer is targeting for, even your landing page is making sense. Everything is in sync. Everything is in relevancy. Then your quality score will always be higher. Quality score is given on a keyword level, guys. For every keyword, there is a quality score given, and that is given always out of 10. As we as we move further, I'll tell you about that. Harshika says, is it, is it should be a large bit or we can decide? Initially, when we start our AdWords account, guys, when we start advertising for the first time for a particular uh, website, it's always good to start with a higher bid. As we'll optimize our campaign further, we'll get a lot of data to <clears throat> look into, excuse me, <clears throat> as we'll have a lot of data to look into, we'll do a lot of experimentations, we'll tweak our ad, we will change our ad on day-to-day -day basis, we'll definitely uh, decrease our bid also, but it's a thumb rule which I'm telling you, when we'll start new, it's always better to actually bid a bit on the higher side, but you won't be knowing what is the actual bid which you should keep. There is a tool for that, I will come on to that, which is called a Keyword Planner Tool, guys. Keyword Planner Tool actually tells us that uh, what is a specific uh, approximate bidding which is going on right now for a specific keyword. For a specific keyword, what is a what is the on an average uh, bidding which one should go for, all right? So right now, let's say if I go with uh, making AdWords do that, I'll keep keep coming on to that, I'll come on to the bid part. So do we get to see bidding range? Uh, with Facebook, we do get to get, the, get to see the bidding range. AdWords used to make us see the bidding range earlier, but not right now. AdWords, AdWords right now just gives us the information in terms of if, uh, if my bidding is falling, uh, if it's it's a bit lower and I'm not able to reach the topmost page. So the bidding range uh, earlier was given across Moses. Very good question, but right now, no, it's not. Uh, with the help of that keyword planner, which I'm telling you, absolutely we do get. We get an approximate idea. I'll, I'll show you that. Let me show you. So keyword planner, show you after a while. Okay, I'm not able to click on uh, go ahead with the new tab. I'll just come out to the keyword planner also. Let's say I go with a hundred rupees budget, or maybe let's say three hundred rupees budget. I'll I'll start with that. Okay, when I start with a three hundred rupees budget, what will happen? Let's say if I'm to consume entire three hundred rupees in a day, then it's good. Uh, I mean, uh, I um, I would be paying three hundred rupees obviously. And if let's say out of three hundred, only two hundred rupees have been consumed, not many people have clicked on my ad then it doesn't mean that my remaining 100 rupees out of 200 is is lost. No, only 200 rupees will be taken by Google even if you have set 300 rupees. Even if you have allowed and given permission to AdWords to, yeah, absolutely, just sort of carry forward, or you can say that uh, a deduction is not being done. So it's my all up to me whether I want to use the remaining 100 rupees or not. It will not get deducted from my account, all right? So I take as 300 uh, rupees per day, and then comes in every method, guys. 
<clears throat> now, what does these delivery method things uh, is all about? This delivery method, if you can see over here, there are two options, standard and accelerated. It gets deducted the same day. Very good question. Sometimes it gets deducted the same day. Otherwise, if your Ad AdWords account is bit old, it becomes old, let's say two, three months old, then they will start, they'll give you a limit. They'll give you a limit, let's say that uh, maybe 5,000 rupees or maybe 30 days, whichever ones comes first. Let's say you spend 5,000 rupees in one day, then that 5,000 rupees would be deducted that same day. Or if you use those 5,000 rupees in 25 days, after 25th day, your 5,000 rupees would be deducted. Or let's say you don't, you just deduct, you're just able to spend 100 rupees in 30 days. After 30 days, the billing cycle will come. It's a, it's a monthly cycle. Sometimes it's a 45 day cycle also. Mostly it's a monthly cycle. So Arshika says 200 rupees have been used. Is there any earning? Okay, the earning, how it happens, Arshika, I tell you. So it's better to pause the campaign. Uh, why it's better to pause the campaign and then restart again? Uh, no, but why uh, do you think that? Uh, just wanted to understand your viewpoint, Tushar. Uh, why do you think it's better to pause and restart? Uh, you can, I mean, you can do both. Uh, say, say we have 5,000 5, bucks, all right. Or let's say if we have, and they start getting consumed at an accelerated rate. So you can uh, anytime decrease your uh, daily spend also. So you can anytime. So in case you feel that your 5,000 rupees is uh, in totality is getting spent a lot, instead of 300 rupees, you can anytime do it 200 or 100 also. You can do it this way also. So a daily budget you can uh, actually uh, decrease or you can set your campaign to run only for a handful number of keywords. Let's say today I run my campaign for 500 keywords. Tomorrow I can pause my campaign for 300 keywords out of those 500. So only for 200 keywords it will run. So I have all the options. Now I have another great question which is by Harta who says that is there any earning when we run a specific, uh, let's say, an advertisement and when we uh, spend money Let's say I type in a keyword, which is uh, SEO services. On I type in a keyword SEO service. Now what happens, you can see there are certain agencies who are spending per click on per click basis. Number one is by resultfirst.com. WideNet Technologies is another one. Ad Global 360 is another one. Then you have uh, Google, BSIM, AdLift, Page Traffic, and so forth and so on. Each of these companies, Harshika try to understand, everybody try to understand what is happening. Result first is ready to pay, let's say, an X amount, maybe 100 rupees whenever someone will click onto their ad. Similarly, Wide Network also might have been, say, have might have bid in something amount, maybe 200 rupees. This might have spent in, might have said that I am ready to spend 300 rupees. Let's say now at Global 360 who says I'm ready to spend 300. When somebody click on their ad at Global 360, no, it's not that. Uh, no, they might have paid those that 300 rupees. You know, per click, that per click thing might have got deducted from their account. All right. Now what is happening when this, when the viewer has actually opened this specific ad, clicked on that specific ad, this landing page, the destination URL comes in. Now, how is this particular company at Global 360 able to make money out of this? They have spent 300 rupees for, for the per click thing, but how they are able to make money is that somebody who has clicked on this specific uh, advertisement and comes onto this landing page tries to enter his details and all. All right. So let's say I type in my details, and when I type in my details, I would send a query. Now, this is a lead generating campaign for Ad Global 360, which is happening. Now, if Ad Global 360 now call me and email me, you can see my phone number and my email address. They will say that you have requested for a free proposal. You have requested for a free digital marketing on SEO proposal, whatever it may be. It's an SEO proposal, right? They would call me and if I have, it's an inquiry form. If 
if I am a serious buyer and I would tell them that yes, I am looking for SEO services for my website, I can give them business and I can I can actually give them a contract for my website and I can tell them that I'm I can pay you and I would pay you this much. They would say uh, we have these many packages. Would you like to buy? If things work really well, I can give them business. It's all about collecting leads and converting those leads into sales. It's not necessarily that every lead which is getting captured over here will turn into sales. So that's with, uh, does that answer your question, Harshika? Now this is with the services industry. This is about customer acquisition, getting inquiries, absolutely. Now let me give you another question, Harshika, which you would be able to understand also very clearly since you are from the e-commerce background. Let's say somebody types in, give me a keyword, Harshika, the kind of product which you sell. Give me a keyword for your product. I will take that. Moses say here we are talking about click. Do we also have to uh, have choice to run on impression basis? Very good question, Moses. We don't have a uh, choice to run search ads. The search ads are never run on impression basis. Only the display ads, which are the image ads and the video ads are run on the search basis. The text ads, the text search ads are only run on the, uh, what do you say, uh, per click basis only. On per click only we can pay for impression basis it's only the display ads and only the video ads which can run. Does that answer your question, uh, Moses? All right. Yeah. Okay, says Moses. So, uh, are you okay or are you good? So, let me know in case you still have a question. So, Harshika says mobile phone is one of the uh, keyword. Okay, and search ads are full based, absolutely, and display ads are push based, absolutely right, Tushar. Search ads are full based because you are actually looking for something then it's pulling you and display ads are something where you don't have a idea that uh, you would be using uh, you have a need or you have a requirement for a particular product you're absolutely right Tushar so Moses says good all right good so let's say this keyword mobile phone whenever someone type in a mobile phone what mobile phones do you uh, actually are catering to Harshika if you can let me know a specific mobile phone or maybe an iPhone, oh wow, so you are, uh, so let's say somebody types in by iPhone 6, so whatever query which I, I mean, uh, keyword which I take generally, I, that is something which you deal into. So let's say somebody types in by iPhone 6 and maybe type in by iPhone 6 cheap. This particular person might buy, uh, uh, is, uh, might be looking for, a, for buying an iPhone 6 this person who's typing in a keyword might buy an iPhone, might not buy an iPhone. Nobody knows about that. Let's say I need an iPhone at that to at a cheaper price, I type this keyword and Amazon who's ready to spend in money, Paytm who's, who's spending in money on per click basis is getting its uh, website on the top, quicker also and so forth and so on and the other websites also. Let's say Amazon is spending money, I click on Amazon's ad now when I click on Amazon ad, Amazon might have been paying let's say 100 rupees per click, all right? 100 rupees has got deducted out of Amazon's AdWord kitty, okay? Now it's not necessarily that, it's not, uh, uh, what do you say, it's not a restriction that every click will turn into a sale. It might happen that when I reach this particular page, who am I? I am the buyer, I am the searcher. When I go onto this particular page, I might feel that uh, I'm not in a position to buy, in, buy this particular product. I might buy it or I might leave this page. Let's say if I buy this, then, I, then Amazon is actually earning out of it, right? So the products which you have, Harshika, on eBay, you can run your paid campaigns for that also. So let's say I, if I buy in this product, then Amazon will actually get revenue out of this. Right, and it's actually run by Easy Pay, Easy Buy. This is the seller, Easy Buy's SLP. This person might have been running this. All right, so that's how you make money out of it. This is for the exact e-commerce site, and the other example which I gave you was about uh, an indirect way, an indirect way of selling across. This is not an e-commerce, but this is actually about lead capturing. All right. I did answer all of your questions. Any doubt, any questions, any query, guys, do let me know. Are we all good? So we have Vibor also joining in. Vibor, any question? And we have Sundar also joining in. Sundar, any question? Uh, Tushar says, suppose we drop out, then Amazon can do remarketing. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I will definitely show you how the remarketing thing works. And very targeted. 
or oh, okay before you could great and Sundar, uh, you did join in yesterday also. I didn't. I do not really show sure whether you were able to get things or not. Himank, any questions so far? Guru, any questions so far? So uh, we have got more people joining in, which is good. All right, great guys. So let me know, Guru, are you good? And uh, okay, Himank is also good. And how about Sundar? Can you hear me? Not really sure. All right. So budget is 300 rupees, which I had set in. I was telling you the difference between these two delivery methods, guys. One is standard and one, another one is accelerated. The difference between these two uh, things, guys, is that let's say I start with 300 rupees and I tell Google AdWords that my ad, my budget for day, my daily budget, which is 300 rupees, will start from 12 o'clock midnight. Let's say the day today is 27th. So uh, just a sec. Okay, Guru has a question who says in AdWords billing information, how to pay option, which option should I select? Because I'm adding the card. You can go in for the credit card, Guru. So uh, are you not able to get that? You can you can ask your question in the uh, public uh, chat also. It is not a problem. Everybody will learn out of it. So while uh, entering the billing amount, I'll, I'll show you how to enter the billing amount also, the billing details in a while. All right. Uh, you're adding the details. Give me the screenshot. I'll help you in that. So take a screenshot and give me the link of the screenshot. So coming on guys, again to the delivery method, if it's 300 rupees, my I instruct the AdWords that my 300 rupees uh, daily budget will start from 12 o'clock midnight to another day's 12 o'clock midnight, which is a uh, overall time frame of 24 hours. Within time frame of 24 hours, it might happen that my advertisement will start at 12 o'clock midnight and my 300 rupees might get consumed by one o'clock. Within one hour, because of a lower budget, it might happen that my uh, overall budget will get spent within a span of one hour. Now I feel this is very unfair. I'm not able to see the other hours, you know, my the performance of my ads throughout the day. If I have a lower budget, will I always get this disadvantage that my ad will run only for a specific duration, which is for one hour? I want my ad to run for different hours of the day. Let's say so for some time, I want my ad to run for the morning hours for, for sometimes for the afternoon hours, sometimes for the evening, and then sometimes for the late night hours also. In that case, I can take standard approach. And in case I want my advertisement to straight away go ahead and get my budget get consumed as and when there is a, a, a click. So this what this says standard is optimize your campaign, optimize delivery of the ads, spending budget evenly over time. What this will do, if I select standard, my advertisement will start at 3 at 12 o'clock and probably 50 or 60 rupees will be spent between 12 to 12.30 and after that my ad will stop. Then my another remaining 250 rupees that will be distributed in different chunks throughout the day. 50 rupees may be uh, during 12 to 1 p.m. or 12 to 12.30 then my ad will stop for another 2-3 uh, hours then maybe 8 o'clock in the morning another 50 rupees or 60 rupees or 100 rupees will be deducted. So it will be spread all across the uh, 24 hours, guys. But if I do accelerate it, it would say it will not optimize. It will run automatic. Yeah, that will be done automatically. I won't get to know for what particular period of time it's doing that. But I do have an option again for scheduling. I'll come on to that. I uh, Again, if I say that I want to run my ad between the, uh, let's say, lunch hours only and during the dinner hours only I can go ahead and do that. Let's say I'm a restaurant. I know that my, or maybe uh, I'm a restaurant and I know my, my ad will get me major conversions during the lunch hours between 1 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. and I know that during 7 p.m. in the evening till 10 p.m. in the night hours only my ad should run. I can go ahead and do that also. I'll make you understand that. Okay, I have got a question from Guru. Okay, Guru, this is not opening up. Uh, you might have to use another uh, 
screenshot tool and you can let me know. Maybe you can uh, help me out with your query. But you can use a screenshot tool, guys, for light shot. With the help of light shot, you can take that, Guru, and then uh, send me the URL for your query. All right. So going back to the AdWords again, standard is the most preferred. Are we, uh, so I hope everybody has understood the uh, standard and the accelerated difference, guys. It's all about making my ad appear throughout the day, even if I have a lower budget. And accelerated is that as and when I'll get maximum clicks. All right. So yes says Tushar, yes says Moses, yes says uh, Vinay. All right. I believe everyone else has also understood that. In case not, you can surely ask me at a later stage also. Great, Nan Kumar. Now, guys, comes in ad extension. Anybody who's aware of, okay, Himan says sorry, but I have to. I have an out of the box question. Can you give a rough idea of how many MB of data does one session consume? Because I don't have an unlimited net pack. Just 30 GB per month. 30 GB per month is go is good. Uh, Vibor says voice gone. Maybe Vibor might have to. Okay. So Iman, if 30 GB is pretty good. You you don't uh, need more than that. So maybe 10 GB is something which uh, maximum which my uh, internet my my actually staff will actually consume. All right, so is, uh, I hope everybody is able to hear me. And now comes an ad extension. Uh, let's say if I go back to those ad queries which were there. All right, you got it. Great. When I click on, when I go ahead with google.com and I type in the same keyword which is SEO services, what you can see over here, there is a specific. Now, this is the ad. This is the headline, guys. If you remember, this is the headline, or maybe this is a perfect example. This is a headline, guys. Right. This is a headline. Then we have a description line one, and then we have a description line two also. My voice is breaking. Is that for everybody? My voice is not clear to you. Not to be sure why is this happening. Okay, it's not breaking, so uh, it's fine. All right, it's not breaking. All right, I'll take another example also. Women watches, maybe that will make you understand the overall ad extension stuff, guys. Okay, very great example over here. There are multiple ad extensions, guys. Over here, this is the headline. When I type in the keyword women watches, there are ways through which you can extend the overall real estate space for your advertisement. When I say real estate, Let's say the very first one, which is Paytm, it does have the headline over here. Then it does have the display URL. Then it uh, does have the description line one. Let's say this is the description line one. And description line two merged together. This is description line one. And then you have description line two. Right, so this is description line one, guys, and this is description line two. If this particular stuff is only carry forwarded, if it's only being used, then what will happen? My ad will only be like this. This space will be used by my ad, right? The headline, the display URL, and the description line one, and the description line two. That's what will generally happen when you will go ahead and create your ad. But over here, you can see some more text appearing over here, another text appearing over here, and then another text appearing over here, and then another text. These are ad extensions, guys. When I say ad extension, something more to the ad. The ad is only this, with description line two, description line one, and then the display URL, and also the headline. This is the standard ad. With the standard ad, you can have multiple ad extensions, and these ad extensions, the benefit of having ad extension is that your ad can occupy much more space in the search engine result page. This is the search engine result page, right, guys? What you can see, this ad is so big, right? It has one line, two, three, four, five, six, six lines. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And whereas this one is just four lines, and this one with Ask Me Bazaar is just one line, two lines, and then three lines. Which one is much better over here? Which one will catch your more attention, the Amazon one or the Ask Me Bazaar? Which one do you think is going to catch uh, more of your attention, guys? The Amazon or the Ask Me Bazaar, right? It is 
uh, Amazon, as Rajiv says, the reason I'm assuming is uh, why Amazon will actually catch your attention, your eyes' attention, is because this is much occupying much more space. Okay, Moses says, "Ask me Bazaar." Uh, why is that? Why, uh, why would you go ahead with the "Ask me Bazaar"? Any specific logic for that, Moses? You might have a different logic. I'm, I'm totally open to listening to that. So there are ad extensions to the Amazon people to read much. All right. So uh, there is another logic that uh, we have someone who says that I don't want to read so much and I want to go ahead and read in a specific ad. There is not much of text. Absolutely right. But the study shows that there are more number of people who like certain ads which are uh, bigger in size and also your uh, the overall space you know if I talk about the number of pixels or maybe the, the overall space can you see this much space this is a huge space over here occupied by Amazon thing extra excuse me ask Amazon is not paying anything extra for having a bigger ad, ad guys how they are able to do that <laughs> excuse me just having some water excuse me how Amazon is able to get this uh, huge ad okay first of all I would like to tell you uh, uh, research shows that uh, the overall higher, uh, I mean, larger the real estate, larger the space occupied by a particular ad, better it is. It gives much more visibility, it gives much more uh, clicks and much more likeliness. Also, you can say this is something which is uh, which which has been seen with the research. When somebody gets to see this ad, they have more tendency to uh, uh, click on the larger ad. Now, how this is possible because of the ad extensions. Very first ad extension which I want to tell you is the site link. Is bidding done for ad extension as well? All right, which is a great question. The bidding which you do, the CPC bidding Arushi, which you do for uh, your ad, similarly the same price actually applies for your ad extensions also. Let's say if I have said that 50 rupees, Amazon says that 50 rupees is what we bid, then the, that same price which they pay for uh, when somebody click on their ad over here on the top that 50 rupees that same price would be deducted from their uh, overall budget similarly if somebody clicks on the uh, other uh, ad extension also then same price so there is no separate bidding being done for ad extension the answer to your question is the bidding is done only in one type all right so i have something being shared by guru prasad guru is that something which is related to the ad extension on the uh, so bidding budget includes extensions. The, absolutely, the bidding budget. So let's say if uh, I have clicked right now on the headline once and I have clicked on the women watches, which is the ad extension. So 50 rupees, let's say if they have, they have been paying, so 50 would be once and 50, another 50 would have deducted again. So out of 300, they might have, they would have paid 100 rupees. You're absolutely right. There is first, the answer to your first question, Arushi, was that it is no separate bidding for ad extensions and the answer to your second question is that the bidding budget definitely includes the price which you pay for the extensions also. You don't need to have a separate uh, budget for a bid, uh, ad extension and a separate budget for the advertisements. It's the same kitty, it's the same pocket from where you're paying it. All right, so I, I this is not a clickable link, uh, you got it, all right, so I would open and pay paste that the guru want to see what okay it's still not opening guru, the overall thing which you have given me uh, you might have to try like I told you the light shot uh, light shot screen taking tool is something which is good so light shot you can use that or maybe you can use screencast also screencast is also a good one to take a screenshot and then share it across with me so uh, like I was telling you about the ad extension guys going back this particular ad extension which you can see which is one women watches and the other one women watches fast track and women watches Titan these two are cycling extensions guys okay you will type these are called cycling extensions these are certain links which are pointing out to different pages which are pointing out to different web pages of my website 
all right somebody who has typed in women watches get to see an ad from amazon about women watches only and there are certain uh, internal pages which is uh, only giving those uh, specific women watches which are of a specific brand of fast track the other side the extension is making the user go to another specific landing page which is of titan if i would click on this ad another uh, a landing page one will open if i'll click on a site link extension one a separate landing page will open if i click on site link extension two a separate landing page will open so all the three landing pages over here are different similarly over here 50% or more if i if you go on to this particular amazon thing 50% or more just a sec guys yeah so 50% or more is one thing then fashion for watches will have another landing page under 2000 rupees is going to be another landing page and this is going to be so there are four landing pages for four different site links and then there is a fifth landing page for the generic uh, ad okay arushi says can you explain site link concept once again sure so whenever somebody let's say today i decide that i want to gift in a watch to my uh, wife and i am looking for some women watches i type in a keyword okay i am taking a hypothetical uh, example i type in a keyword women watches what i get to see that i get to see there are three uh, advertisements over here one is the paytm one all right the other is the amazon one the other one is ask me bazaar first i told you uh, this is a huge ad much more real estate uh being occupied and that has been possible because of these extensions the ad extensions all right somebody was on unmute i believe i muted everyone so when i get to see a bigger ad i am first of all attracted to it i have more tendency towards clicking on this ad i have uh moses saying a different logic altogether which is also accepted but more people click on an ad which is uh bigger in size this has been seen now with ask me bazaar there is only one clickable thing there is no ad extension to this ad there is only one if i click on this ask me bazaar thing what is going to open is this or right, let me close the other part guys so what opens is the ask me bazaar page which has all the women watches all right which is okay which is fine but what uh, amazon is giving is doing with the help of citing extensions which is being added to their ad they have actually used this feature of citing extensions they have given an opportunity to the search engine user or the person who has typed in this keyword they have given an option to that end user to not just have access to one single landing page which gets appeared by clicking onto the headline while by clicking onto the headline this page appears for the for amazon which does have all the women watches you can see uh, all the women watches categorized under different brands categ uh, and the deals part and so forth and so on some more uh, women watches with no categorization over here right these all are women watches with no categorization but if i go back to the same advertisement i have a specific citing extension which is one where i click on the very first one which says women watches fast track so over here when i click on fast track one or when i click on the titan one there are different landing pages the pages which will open the destination url which will open in the scenario 2 and scenario 3 is going to be different from the uh, landing page one the landing page one was a generic women watch page and this is the page which will have only the fast track watches while by clicking onto this link only those women watches will come that landing page will come which will only have the titan related women watches let me show you you can see the fast track ones open up all the women watches with uh, which is delivered uh, by the brand fast track opens up why this happens i'll tell you what and over here it's the uh, okay there are no products right now with the titan one maybe they have they are running short of inventory right now all right running short of inventory right now uh okay going back to this what is happening this is giving some more thought provoking is getting done i mean some more extra feature is being given to the end customer 
if i get to see this i might i might narrow down narrow down my search this actually you know this has been seen add extensions always leads to much better ctr and much better sales in short i can say that so i can create site link extensions similarly for my particular website also and for my particular advertisement this is the very first one which is the site link i can go ahead and extend my ads i haven't created the ads yet i would need to create them when i click on to site links it says at least four site links to be created i can go ahead and create one of them and make you see maximum 10 site links to be created and minimum four site links minimum four maximum 10 site links should be created i can go ahead moses says amazon ad has three different landing pages with the help of ad extension absolutely and it does have sometimes i have seen it does have more than four and more than five also so google uh, actually uh, makes at least two ad site link extensions two site link ad extensions at these is what they uh, get to show if i type in right now maybe men watches with watches men they might actually show me some more all right yes you can see there are four site link extensions with this example when i type in men extension men watches there is site link extension 1 with fast track site link extension 2 with casio brand site link extension 3 with fossil site link extension 4 with titan what these guys could have also done amazon guys could or could have also done site link extension which would have not just have focused on the branding part they might have said men watches between 0 to 2000 then 2000 to 5000 then 5000 to 8 then 8000 to 10000 or maybe 10000 plus or 8000 plus screen is lagging all right so i'll show that again when i type in men watches what happens all right i'll i'll i'll, I'll just repeat that thank you so much for letting me know when i type in women watches right cursor when i am adding the card details it's asking for how to pay in that one is automatic payment recommended and manual payments automatic automatic guru so this is out of the context issue i would recommend you to ask me these questions over whatsapp <laughs> i am not i am not denying that i will not answer this i'll i'll definitely answer these guru but the answer is your question is automatic is something which you can go with when it says manual you can at any time mention that i want to do it by myself automatic and manual both are okay i generally go with automatic where the charge happens okay so uh, like i was saying when i type in men watches you can see there are four different four different site link extension guys the fast track casio fossil and title earlier in the earlier example with the women watches one they were just only two site links over here there are four you can create minimum four in the back end and maximum 10 but what google shows in totality minimum two and maximum four maximum four site links is what they showcase when somebody clicks on these all different urls will open up and uh, you can create with other internal links of your website okay was there any other thing which i was trying to tell you okay yeah, i was trying to tell you it's if it's not on the brand part guys they could have renamed they could have used these ad extension in a different manner also they could have written men watches between uh, you know uh, men watches with which are between 0 to 2000 and men watches which are between 2000 to 5000 men watches between 5000 to 8000 and men watches 8000 plus so on the price pattern on the color also they could have written men watches blue color men watches black color white yellow red so forth so on the color part on the price part on the brand part whatever they could have done it's just an additional feature and whatever uh, text they would have written that text should have actually caught the end user to a specific landing page which this text represents if i am writing if i am writing 0 to 2000 only those uh, there should be a separate landing page where only those uh, watches should come of men which are between the price range of 0 to 2000 if i am writing within the text men watches 2000 to 5000 then only those watches should appear on a particular landing page which are between 2000 to 5000 it should be relevant then only it will add more uh reasons you know more more uh, there would be more uh, reasons of getting the sales at the end so that's with site link extension site link extensions guys are very much created the way 
uh, the advertisements are created, which is with the uh, example of 25, 35, 35 character limit. Let me show you by creating a site link extension. When I click on plus new site link, let's say I type in link text as uh, free PPC services. If I am selling free PPC, free SEO audit, I can also mention free PPC audit. I offer a free PPC audit also and I can mention the URL for that. Let's say I go back to my website and what is this? What's wrong with my website? Just a sec, guys. So I can open my website and get hold of the specific URL. So within my site extension, okay, again lagging. Sure, I'll, I'll speak with store. All right, so I am creating a site link extension, guys, which says PPC audit. I go on to the services bar. I go on to services and click on pay-per-click management services. I copy that. I know there is a video lag, guys. I'll speak that again. I'm creating right now a site link extension, which is for the PPC audit or maybe the PPC services. I take one of the page within my services section which is a PPC management I go ahead and enter that across in the side extension over here so what I have done right now I am trying to create a PP uh, a citing extension which is of other internal pages of my website. Other internal pages of my website I'm typing, typing in. This particular text, guys, will appear in the same fashion we had seen for Amazon. In Amazon, like it was written, Women Watches Titan. Similarly, my ad extension will say free PPC audit. That's it. When someone will click onto this free PPC audit, they, he or she will actually vis, get to, uh, will get to land on this specific page on my website which is of the PPC uh, services only all right now when I click on device preference I want this uh, citing extension to be there on mobile or not if yes I have a preference I can go ahead and check box this and I can write in any description so the description line 1 and description line 2 for cycling extensions never get visible but uh, at least just a second. okay uh, the description line 1 and description line 2 for citing extensions never gets visible but we can go ahead and write it this is written actually in order to get better quality score let me see the screen also myself on the other laptop so that I can get to know about the video lag alright so description line 1 let's say I type in uh, PPC services by your creations get free PPC audit done today that's it so I can write in something but this is never ever going to appear guys uh, okay so Tushar says so basically citing extension helps you narrow down your search approach absolutely the end customer is getting some more options so not narrowing down the approach I would say uh, it's it's like offering something more to what the end customer was intentionally looking for in the first part in the first part if somebody was looking for women watches they might be getting a narrow down approach for sure but over here uh, it's absolutely it's customization also or offering something more also it can be narrow down approach also it can be like offering something more somebody comes on to a shop and says that I am looking for just uh, for uh, you know buying a, a packet of juice but uh, we tend to give them a packet of juice and show them that uh, along with juice it's a milk it's along with juice it's a uh, you know uh, coke and also Red Bull and so forth and so on 
and if you ca if in case you want that for coke you have to turn left and go into that aisle for this all that stuff market basket absolutely absolutely i can then mention the start date and end date for my site links also guys i can mention that i want to showcase my site link only from 27th of september and make it end only until 30th after that i don't want to show my so i can mention that i can even mention the time guys between these let's say 3 days or maybe i take it i can go ahead and take uh, a month's time within this month do i want my advertisement to run for all the days throughout the week and what time would that be i can mention or in case I want to segregate this, I can also mention I want it to run only for weekdays. If I know my audience is generally uh, typing in and searching for my products within the weekdays only, I can run my ad for that. You know, Monday to Fridays, I believe that SEO services and PPC audit services are generally asked and demanded by the uh, corporates only. And these corporates are usually searching during Monday to Friday. And the time period, if I talk about the Indian Standard Time, I believe uh, they majorly start with 9 a.m. in the morning and till I would say 8 ish, 8, 8 p.m. I can go ahead and do that. Let's say, for an example, I have an e commerce website. With e commerce websites, majorly the advertisements, uh, the e commerce websites run from Monday to Friday and uh, they generally try to run their advertisements during 1 p.m. till 3 p.m. because they know that uh, these are the uh, lunch hours and during the lunch hours the maximum uh, conversions happen, the maximum leads come in because people are uh, easily available there most of the times during their lunch hours do the online shopping. If I have a restaurant so I can do it this way or let's say if I have a nightclub and people generally search for nightclubs during the Saturday and Sundays I can mention that it's a Saturday and my ad should run from uh, let's say 5 p.m. till 10 p.m. So, so Shah says, is it, is it through experience that we come to know uh, the lead? Absolutely, it's only through experience or by getting to understanding the overall uh, business. Absolutely. And Arushi says, is this done in e-commerce websites during festive offers? Absolutely. Absolutely. And this only comes through experience only, like uh, somebody, uh, Tushar did ask me. So Arushi and Tushar answer to your questions is the same. Tushar says, or a protocol which we need. There is no protocol. There is no protocol. It's only through experience, guys. It's only through experience that you get to know or you can ask your client that what are those peak hours when you get the maximum rush. Some people do it the other way also, guys. Some people say that we already get a uh, a lot of walk-ins during the peak hours. We don't want ad to run during the peak hours. We want our ads to run during the non-peak hours. So instead of making it run for our, from uh, on Saturday and Sundays from 5 p.m. till 10 p.m., maybe that's a time for a restaurant which is very much a sort of a rush hour. They would say that please run it during the non-peak hours, Monday to Friday. It's very much dependent upon the situation of the business, the pain area of the business. Tushar says, suppose you are creating the ads for in-house production then, uh, when you say in-house production as in, uh, what, should, what would be the overall product like? So, I mean, it's all about understanding the, uh, understanding the business, where, what is the demand of my business right now? Am I looking for the peak hours? Am I looking for, for this particular product? Let's say your company is offering. My company, let's say internet marketing company, I would say Monday to Friday, morning till evening. That is the, because I don't want to run it for Saturday and Sundays. I know most of the people who will actually search for Saturday, uh, for search for these uh, products, uh, whether it's internet marketing or web development or all that stuff on Saturday and Sundays, these guys are very less uh, serious professionals search for these offerings during Saturday and Sundays. Only serious people, are, most of the serious people, actual buyers are looking from Monday to Friday. So it's all about uh, the client you have to ask. Client knows their product, their business the most. All right. So I can go ahead and schedule that and I could go ahead and then save it guys. Now this is one site link guys which has got created at least in order to make it run we need at least four. Right now you can see there is one site link extension which has got created. Similarly you can go ahead and create it for, for another three. 
I can do it another one for email marketing, another one for mobile marketing, another third one for uh, the I mean third one for the mobile marketing, fourth one will be for uh, another service, maybe let's say social media marketing. All right, so so forth and so on. Now another extension, guys, which is available is the call extension, guys, which is over here. I can go ahead and enter a phone number. Have you seen a call extension uh, whenever you do a search for a local business over a phone? Most of the time, call extensions appear for a phone. I can select a phone number. Let's say I click on India right now. I I G H I. So uh, the question which I'm asking: Have you guys seen a call button uh, right next to a Google search ad whenever you try to search? If you guys have your uh, phone in front of you, or right, Vibo says yes. All right, great. I can select a mobile preference. Mobile as one of the preference for call extension. Not yet. I'll just show you. So start date, end date, scheduling, all of that. Like Zomato, absolutely. Zomato do that. Various. Uh, uh, I was about to ask that. All right. So I can go ahead and device preferences, mobile, advanced option. I can select the start date and end date. I've already shown you. I won't show you the scheduling part. I have entered my phone number. I click on save. Let me show you how the call extension looks like, guys. Since I'm not uh, doing this uh, webinar right now on a, with the help of a uh, mobile thing, with the help of a mobile, I'm doing it with the help of a laptop. So I might have to show you the other way, which is by typing in call extension and show you the image part, the image over here. All right, that's how it actually looks like. When somebody actually clicks on a particular ad, let me zoom in guys and then show you. All right, when somebody types in a specific keyword within the mobile, okay, uh, I'll just uh, wait for, okay, it's working fine at my end. Okay, I believe this is, oh, can you see this image? When somebody types in a keyword in the Google search bar, not in sync again, okay. Le okay, just a second, let me just wait. All right, so image, uh, an image might have come in front of you guys. Let me know if you can see that, uh, which does have a call extension being showcased across. All right, now you can see that, all right. So this is a mobile, guys, within the mobile browser while using a Google search bar, Google search engine, when somebody types in this keyword, any keyword, X, Y, Z, after typing in X, Y, Z keyword, the advertisement which comes up over here does have the headline, does have the display URL, does have the description line one, description line two, and there is a call button. There is a call button over there. This is the call extension, guys, and call extension majorly works well for the mobile stuff. What happens, the number is not mentioned over here, but the call extension button. What happens when the user, when after typing in the keyword, gets to see the call extension button and clicks on the call, call button, straight away the call goes, goes by. The call, uh, the call is routed through, routed to this particular advertiser's office. You know, which is a very powerful tool, guys. If your business is collecting a lot of leads with the help of calls, then this is a very uh, strong tool, guys. The call extension part, and that's how the call extension looks like. There is uh, another. Uh, okay, you guys got that right. There's another call extension, guys, which is called location extension, which is also very much visible on the phone browsers only. Let me show you that. So if you have if you have a local business, you know, which is uh, which which is a brick and mortar business, which is you know a specific physical location is there of a particular business, then many people use Google Business Guys. They register their specific uh, directory of Google, which is called google.com forward slash business. I would mention that. And just try using this. It's a very uh, easy tool, guys. 
google.com forward slash business. I have already done it for my uh, center, my one of my uh, center too. All right. So this is the Google X. Uh, this is the Google Business thing, guys, which I have already got that for my business too. I have got my. I, I, okay, there is a latency. Just a sec. The video needs to get synced. When I type in my. Uh, this is the Google Map listing, guys. This Google Map listing can come. All right, so I'm, I'm speaking a bit slower just to have the uh, video in sync, guys. Right now, what you can see, this is for my, for Digital Marketing Parchara, there is this Google Map listing. You can go ahead and get this listing right across for your business too uh, by registering your business or your client's business on google.com forward slash business. Here in location extension, you have registered your telephone number why not call extension? So this is actually the organic listing right now, Tushar. I'm not running the Google AdWords, uh, Google Ads right now. The with the Google uh, search uh, with the okay, yeah, no worries, no worries. So this actually comes for the organic listings also, the Google Map listing. I can have both the things. I I run on both. Whenever I run, I run it on both. All right. So going back to the location extension example, which I wanted to show you. So let the video be in sync and then make you understand that. So let's say somebody is typing in a specific keyword, which is pizza. Let's say somebody is looking for a pizza hut, all right? And uh, when somebody types in pizza hut, this ad appears. I hope everybody can see that uh, over here. You have the advertisement and within the advertisement, you can have the call extension also, but right now the call extension is not there, but the location extension is there. This also majorly appears for the phone device, for the mobile device only. Let's say if I am in, uh, uh, if today, if I am mobile, I am, you know, traveling in my car, I'm driving my car, so all of a sudden I feel that I want to go ahead and eat, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking for a good eating joint or maybe a, a place where I can have good pizza and I'm into, I'm in Connaught Place. I can go ahead, Connaught Place is a, uh, as a place in uh, New Delhi, guys. Most of you who are not from New Delhi would actually be knowing about Connaught Place still. Still, I want to let you know. So let's say I'm in Connaught Place. I type in a keyword, good restaurants, good, uh, good pizza joints in Connaught Place. When I type in, there can be a pizza joint, but just like Pizza Hut, would, who would have got its advertisement up, all right? Maybe Pizza Hut, Domino's, or the other one. No, I'm not using the, uh, Rajiv, I'm not using the, uh, what do you say, uh, screen right now. I'm just speaking right now. So there is nothing which I'm showcasing right now. When I type in, let's say, I, uh, the keyword, since I don't have the mobile version right now, so this is for mobile. If I am uh, moving around and, and I'm, using my mobile phone browser, my 3G network to type in the keyword or my 3G or 4G which Airtel is providing these days. I type in the keyword good pizza joints nearby or good pizza joints in Connaught Place. For this keyword, let's say Pizza Hut has got its advertisement up. All right. So Rajiv, I'm not using anything right now on the screen. Uh, when I type in this keyword, good pizza joints nearby, then Pizza Hut or Domino's advertisements appear and they're using a location extension. Why would they use a location extension? There is a reason for that. Now, the overall reason for having call extension is clear to you that it's just one click away, one click, and the call will go to that specific advertiser. The advertiser is giving a specific uh, feature, a specific uh, comfortableness, you can say. A comfortable factor comes into play for the end user because he doesn't have to copy the car copy the entire phone number and then paste it across in its phone bar. It's just only one click and the phone will straight away go to that eating joint or that business. Similarly, if you are using, if you use Google Maps guys in order to read, in order to locate a specific location. So for that, for those Google Map guys, users, 
uh, this location extension comes in somebody will click on to, uh, who gets to see this location extension would click on the direction that click uh, you know clickable text when the end user will click on to the directions tab automatically the Google map app will uh, take this entire address and will show him that how far is this pizza joint from the location he or she is present right now let's say I'm into the outer circle of Connaught place and this pizza joint is in the inner circle it will give me the direction that it's just 300 meters away you have to go right and then left and then left and then right whatever after 100 meters or after 200 meters that's the overall it's all about sure giving the directions to that person who's doing a search or while using a mobile phone a mobile browser does that make sense guys are we all good with the call extension the site link extension and also the call location and the site link yes says before how about others? Let me know. Yes, is Arushi. Yes, is Moses. All right. Yes, is Vinay. All right, guys. So, uh, the way, okay, NK, I have got someone by the name of NK, not really sure. Can you let me know about your name, guy? Name, please, NK. All right. So, I believe you have joined in a bit late. Nand Kumar, all right. So, you have changed your name. All right. Great. So, uh, that's with the ad extension guys there are some more ex ad extensions but these are the major ones I can go ahead and let you know about that at a later stage so there are uh, app extensions and review extensions also which I will uh, let you know at a later stage they are not that important the important ones I've already shown you then you can on a campaign level guys can also do scheduling you can mention for which, from which date to what date do you want your campaign so I have come back to the settings tab guys all right when I come back on the settings tab I can do the ad scheduling earlier we had done ad scheduling for the from the site link or the ad extensions point of view from the ad extensions level we had done the scheduling from the campaign level I can do I can set up a start date and an end date also all right and then I can schedule my advertisement accordingly now that's the overall dynamic search ads and campaign URL options are something which is very much advanced which we would take after the basic stuff is covered I would go ahead and click on save and continue guys all right something is missing I believe because of which it's not taking me to the next level search network only all have been loaded okay uh, not really sure what happened oh, strange things didn't get saved okay okay I'll still go ahead and save it with uh, no extensions right now but I've already told you about the extensions now this the next thing guys which comes is creating uh, ad group and the ad copy the headline which I have told you let's say I name it as ad group 1 and I create a headline as whatever thing which I feel is the theme of my particular ad SEO audit for free today So I type in uh, a specific headline, a description line one and a description line two guys, whatever it's coming to my mind, it's, it's more about being creative. You have to be creative while writing the ad copy guys. I can mention the display URL and I can mention the destination URL over here. And just a sec, something wrong with the first word. I take in the URL of from my Okay, this is my landing page guys which I am going to enter into the final URL section. In the final URL section I would be typing across my destination URL and my display URL will definitely at least have the domain name 
the domain name uh, is going to be same with the display and destination URL which I have told you in the last session guys in case you were not part of the last session you will obviously see the recording and you will get to see the difference between display and destination URL in case I have a mobile website I have a different URL for my mobile website I can go ahead and uh, do that for my website it's the same and whatever websites I'll give you it's going to be the same it's not a cool thing to have a different mobile URL uh, you should have a responsive website I say still since I don't have mobile uh, website separate that's why I'm not going to use this feature I've got the headline up I've got the description line written I've got the description line 2 description line 1 display URL and the destination URL which is called the final URL also I go ahead and select I can so you can see there is uh, this keyword tab guys a keyword option where I can go ahead and select for keywords I can select for keywords uh, as per the suggestions which are given over here let's say I can select as per what I understand is very much relevant to my theme so it says uh, search engine optimization services I believe is good and search engine optimization analysis and maybe search engine optimization package I just go ahead and select three keywords guys I can go ahead and select as many as I want but I have to very much specific this is more about SEO audit guys SEO audit or search engine optimization audit alright so when I have taken these keywords okay optimization can be this also I go further down and I can go ahead and click on save and continue okay save and continue to billing or set up billing later I'm setting up the billing later that's it the ad is set up guys the campaign is set up the keywords have been set up and so the campaign the ad group and the keywords and the ad copies all of that have been set up along with the ad extensions. so ad extensions uh, the keywords part and the uh, overall settings which we have taken right so I can go ahead and change the settings we will take that in the next session guys how to go ahead and uh, see the overall dynamics when your ad is actually run when your ad runs what sort of data would you get so as of now I don't want you to actually put in any money into your advertisement from your side I would give you uh, your websites within this week and you can go ahead and create an AdWords account create a fresh uh, Gmail account guys and from there you can create an AdWords account do it for your website I'll be doing all this by ourselves absolutely and once you're done give me your key customer IDs guys on WhatsApp you can give me your customer IDs and once you give me your customer IDs I will link your account to my specific uh, MCC account I could see mobile app engagement will help in Play Store. Absolutely, will help in Play Store. You're right, Moses. Right. So that'll also come. That'll come at a later stage. This is right. We have to start with the search ads and create these search ads, guys. This that's the assignment. Once you're done with that, then you can send me across on WhatsApp your customer ID. I'll send you the invitation and would let you know how to accept the invitation. Right. So. Uh, want to request you guys for the feedback before you log out for today I would just take another couple of minutes bit.ly forward slash DMP feedback alright guys so I have written down uh, I have uh, mentioned across the feedback URL if you can just take a couple of minutes to enter the feedback please that will be uh, a great gesture so we have Arushi, Harshika, Moses, Rajiv, Tushar, Vinay, and Vibhor. All right. Once you're done, guys, uh, feel free. Thank you so much, Vinay. Feel free to log out, guys, in case you are in hurry. No problem. And we'll definitely keep connecting. Uh, so next Saturday also we'll have a class of different batch, and next Sunday we'll have our same same batch. So this batch next class is going to be next Sunday, same time, 8:30 right and before that do submit me across you know at least three to four advertisements which I'll re, uh, I'll say I'll recommend that at least create different campaigns and different ad groups by taking your website in question whatever website you want to take thank you so much Harshika for the feedback thank you so much Vinay for the feedback 
really appreciate that and I will absolutely upload the recording also. Thank you so much Vibor, I really appreciate it. And uh, how are your sessions going on Vibor in your uh, existing face-to-face -face sessions? Good, all right. And Aruchi, how was your face-to-face -face session? And Tushar, how was your face-to-face -face session so far within the centers which you're going? All right, great. Good to hear that, Aruchi. And Tushar, how about you? Did you also get to attend? It's going great. And all right, great, great, Tushar. So Aruchi and Tushar, you might be in the same batch, I believe, in the Indrapuram center. All right, guys, thank you so much. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, I believe everybody is done with the feedback. I'll upload the recording and would uh, would be waiting across for your customer IDs once you have created these search ads. Would like to review them and give you some more uh, tips on to that. All right. Thank you so much, guys, for uh, sparing our time and listening to me. Whatever doubts you had, I believe I have covered most of them. In case I have not been able to cover, you have my WhatsApp number. Feel free to touch base with me on WhatsApp and I'll definitely take over your doubts afterwards also. Thank you so much. Enjoy your uh, night. I mean, have a great sleep. Sleep tight and sweet dreams, guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye now.